and I don't know why we have to talk about it on a day that they can clinch. The things I don't understand, and I do kind of feel this is a topic in itself. What is the most annoying fan behavior things? Because I will tell you for one, I mean, I told you I'm annoyed when people are lifelong Detroiters and then all of a sudden they're like, hey, I'm a Broncos fan because they like John Elway and they quit on the Lions. That annoys me. But the biggest thing that that annoys me from other fans is this kind of crap. The fandom gatekeeper, you didn't believe, so I'm a better fan than you. You weren't around in 03 when they lost 119 games, so I'm a better fan than you. I must have missed the part where, what, they give you like a fan card, kind of like a, a Jersey Mike's card, and you go on in and you get it punched? Oh, you went to so many games? You're a better fan? No! It's ridiculous, well, uh, but all that's come out, and not all, but a lot of what's come out is that. Yeah, I, look, when the Tigers in 2003, when yes. they were the worst team in American League history up until this year, right? And then in 2006, you know, you had the same thing. Oh, where were you? I was there and all this. Uh, nobody cares. Yeah, but that means you were kind of stupid, let's be honest. You were kind of stupid. If you went in 03. What does that mean? That means you spent your money on a product that was subpar. Right. So what, what does that get you? Yeah. I mean, you went to the game. I guess there were shorter lines. Right. You know, there was the story that came out on Wednesday that uh, Tony Paul and Johnny Kane were talking about that people would go to the beer vendors on Wednesday's game. They had 32,000 fans there. Do you hear this? No. And a lot of people were just floored. That Comerica is ca cash free. Oh yeah, I did. Right? Somebody, yeah, yeah. They, they hadn't been there in so, so they're long. Like, they're like, I can't use cash. And this beer vendor's like, welcome back. So like, a lot of people are coming back. And here's the dirty little secret: today's going to be sold out. Tomorrow's going to be sold out. Sunday's going to be sold out. You should come. You should support them because they're yes. giving you a good product now. When before they weren't. Right. I that's what it bothers the hell out of me when people are this city's not a good sports town because of all nobody shows up with, to see the team play. When the team blows, why should people spend their money on no, them? No. Don't watch. Check out. I mean, dude, when you care more than the team, that's a problem. And a lot of the times when the team stinks. You feel like you care more than the team. Right. You so, really don't, but they do care even though they suck. The most annoying fan aspect. Is it the I, gatekeeper? I, yeah, I think it's the one. Who, it's kind of the same thing that people would accuse you of being a bandwagon fan. Yeah. I don't get jump on board. Who cares? How does it affect you? It's weird. I don't get it because I, I guess, and it, everything's got to be a urinating match. Oh, so yeah. so I, I guess when you're talking about fans, you got to talk about like... I'm a bigger fan than you. Huh. Hey, hey, in 2003, did you see Roger Clemens? He was going for his 300th win. Yeah. Tigers beat him in 19 innings. Did you stay the whole game? No. 